Well, I don't know if you could hear that, but that's what it sounds like to have IBS. It's not fun. I have monstrous teeth. And a somewhat monstrous face for a woman. Alright, so here's the Black Mirror episode of the day. It's called Poltergeist. So... It's a, a homeless fellow in his, like, he looks 40, but he's in his 20s. And, you know, he just looks like that guy from, uh, uh, what's that, what's that show? Mr. Robot? Like, with the eyes, or like, uh, Jake Gyllenhaal from Nightcrawler. He's got, like, that thing going on. And he sits down at the, uh, the art, not the arcade, sorry, that's, uh, wrong. He sits down at the the coffee shop, right, like, it's like, like, sorry, I can't think when there's an airplane, it's just, I can't think when there's an airplane. Alright, I can't see it now, but you can certainly hear it. We got jewel weed, we got, um, some purple loose strife, quite a bit of it actually. We got the uh, the reeds, common reeds. We got some more meadow sweet, flowering meadow sweet. Same th same thing, just in flower. Uh, and then back here is an unknown flower. I don't know what that big one, that big white one is. I don't offhand know it. So yeah. The NSA and and uh, a bunch of like empty servers that linked to other mostly empty servers. Like oh boy, Amazon Data Bank number five billion quadrillion whatever. That's me, man. That's my existence, bro. That's everything that I am. And I think about that, right? About like what we are. What is most of what we are, right? If not digital. It's probably like skin cells and electrons and a bunch of other nonsense, the air particles and fucking goddamn clothes that should be outlawed that some people wear indoors. Like, if I had a store, there'd be an air gap and a person working in the air gap that would say, sorry, you gotta leave the store, you're not welcome to them. It's only by appointment. No exceptions, bitch. Because if you had an appointment, you'd know to not show up with fucking perfume on but from a place that is over, uh, you know, overly infected by smell. Just like, oh, ooh, 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 my husband likes it, ooh, ooh. What's your fucking excuse, lady, when my son has a, a allergic reaction? Oh, oh, your son shouldn't come out if he's allergic to peanuts. You can't ban all peanuts. It's like, actually, we kind of can. Like if ragweed was a common perfume just to be political. Like people would just like wear ragweed or spray ragweed to be, it'd be a chemical attack. That's how as an autistic person it feels. It feels like someone's using violence against me. I'm like, oh my fucking God, this is chemical warfare. This is, this is monogamous culture that has become so decadent and so sick with delusion. Or, or so scrambled up and deluded on the individualist's level that it cannot even uh, function or process information anymore. It just tries to cover the chaos with familiarity, and that familiarity is scent. And that scent brings comfort, and that comfort brings a, a, a prediction of homeostasis, even if the homeostasis does not exist. So you're always kind of like, well, uh, 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 I don't smell like myself, uh, I'm used to it, uh, uh. I'm out in the chaos, man. We should ban you from. Uh, we should ban you from our stores.
to read fortunes professionally. Mostly I just want to have a safe space for autistic people. It's like you're entitled to 20 minutes to de-stim here. Oh, I could even leave the room, but this may make you a little paranoid. You're going to be on camera the entire time. The idea is not to necessarily give you privacy. It's to give you somewhere where you could regulate your senses. This dude's doing a wheelie. For me. Ooh, ooh daddy. Oh, damn. It works, too. I'm like, yes, daddy. Zam. I don't care about the jets. I care about you on your motorcycle. That you could kill some girl on her way back to her, like, mom's house who lives in Kentucky because she got to fly out of Albany, ooh woo. It got to be hot to read about in the news when you fucking kill her and die. We should ban you from the mall too. Not to be creepy racist, but there's this look that uh, white men get when they're like, oh my god, they're, they look like they lost the war. When they see someone like me, it's like, they know in their heart that they've lost the war, Culturally, they know that they are still the supreme being and that they know inside I'm suffering. They just feel so bad for everyone around me and for the world itself. And, you know, they just look at the ground and they just, like, they, like... They look at you with, like... And they're, they're not joking, like, they're not doing it to, like, hurt your feelings. Like, it's just... They can't help it. Actually, they're being polite because what they want to say is they want to, like, scream at you and be like, you're the reason that, like, my transgender daughter came out to my ex-wife. Do you have any idea what that did to our family? People like you who corrupted our youth? Like, this is their thoughts in their head, you know? And, like, even if they're not that well articulated, like, that's, like, if you showed them those words, that's what they would, uh, you know, substitute their own for. It's like a Pokemon learns a new, more powerful move. It's like, well, their old words did 60 damage, this one does 80 and has a chance to burn. Like, that's much better. It's the difference between, like, uh, Bubble Beam and Scowl, you know? It's, Two different games. So they just like they look at you, they look at you, they look at you, and, just, like, and they just put their eyes down. This is meme where it's like, oh, are you winning, son? <laughs> and then the counter meme to that is, if you're lucky, you're still a son. Um, that's how they do it. That's how they start. That's how you know you're dealing with the kids. It sounds something like that, you know. No one knows what they're saying. Some shit like heaven and God above, King of all the entire earth and everything. We beseech thee with our blood. <laughs> you know, they take that one out of the kids' prayer, so they tell you it means something it doesn't. They give you like, well, it could be, and it sometimes is interpreted as you know, your life force, and just, like, your creativity, and just, like, it's a good thing, you know, to give your blood, just don't, we'll, to, we'll call it the light. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and then somewhere uh, down the line, these fucking things, too, <laughs> like, what, these, these things are against God, man, you are godless creatures, you hear me? This is profane, and there is something deeply unsettling about you. Foul beast. You gotta talk mad shit to the turkeys. People don't even know. Dude, honestly, I can't tell who's more American. <laughs> These turkeys or me. Who's really in the cage? Is it you or is it me? In this case, it's you. What are you guys leaving up to? This is about as confused as most Americans look when you start trying to show them what's going on in the world. And then when they try to explain it back to you, that's what they sound like. And you're like, yeah, dude, you're uh, really smart. I'm glad you passed public school. I'm glad that your parents watch CNN. That's like all the politics memes. It's just like all the different channels. Just... These ones are more interested than these ones. They're a little bigger. They're like, what are you doing? It smells also terrible, so I'm going to go this way. I'm, uh, I'm practicing to do uh, public audits and interactions with potentially law enforcement. This is my training. <laughs> it's actually good practice because the behavior is very similar. Like, you know, they try to get buff. They try to, like, 
strut around. Like, I'm not going to fucking ask you again. Step out of your vehicle. If, they're stepping, if, you, if they ask you to step out of your vehicle, you, you should probably do it. I'm not going to tell you again. Back up on the sidewalk. That's a little different. That's what happens when they tell you to get up on the sidewalk. You, you got to be like, you can't boss me around. In Arizona, they can now. In Arizona, they can order you eight feet back unless you're the one recording the interaction. I mean, this is absolutely unconstitutional. The the distance that... Uh, that's the secret police, by the way. Like, you wouldn't know it if I didn't tell you that, but it is. Also, this channel should be considered a psychotic disinformation campaign and should not be used for political or academic purposes. Facts are not checked and no sources or citations will be provided. Should you choose to believe anything in this episode, do so at your own risk. Uh, listener, viewer discretion. I think it'd be funny to do... Mo- pe- the accusation, right, would be that it'd be racist. If I were to make a character by making City more this fool, you know, like Scrappy the Cholo. But instead of that, it's like uh, a Carlos. Sorry, dudes. Here, here, I'll go away from y'all. I understand you're migrating. <clears throat> Never been here before. Kind of a little spooked by me. I get it. I'll give you some space. I mean, y'all no harm. You know, it's a bunch of gooses. I don't silly gooses. POV, you're a wasp. You have your own sound effect. Oh shit. Oh, oh ow. I think I just broke my pinky. I didn't want to kill that bee, so I broke my pinky. POV, you're me with. Oh, my pinky hurts. <laughs> ow. It also ruined my other joke. That was a bird. Dude, that hurt like a motherfucker. And then we, we still haven't even seen the joke. I'm just gonna leave this away. Oh, where it is not a collision hazard. Or I should say a little less of a collision hazard. Actually, no. We're gonna wanna make a, a tactical egress. Fuck you. We're gonna definitely need the tactical egress. Jeez, man. I think it, I'm glad it didn't break. I'm glad we're like stretchy as humans. This is more training for auditing the police. This is as close as I dare get. Oh! Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I, I've been saying for a little bit I was going to like film that and now, and now I did that's the only reason I came out today honestly is that that shot but oh man my fingers man I mean this is why I gotta get GoPro it's just dumb boy behavior but dumb boy behavior has dumb boy consequences and if you're a dumb boy you just accept that <laughs> luckily for everyone I'm a dumb boy so it's like hmm. <laughs> um, so it's my lack of knowing how to do it that's to blame but uh, you could just see like really quick I was just feeding it like you could see what I was feeding it I mean <laughs> It's not bad, <laughs> you know, it's like, it's terrible on one hand, but on the other hand, it's like kind of the most brilliant thing I've ever seen. It's a night cafe studio, and it's messing around with like 
AI created art that they've like trained an algorithm or some shit. I don't know how it works. It's pretty ingenious though. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty impressive. I don't really understand the crediting system because I signed up with like a fake email and I guess it starts you out with a certain number, but I don't know how many it starts you out with, so I'll probably out soon. But I mean, this is like honestly pretty impressive for like pseudo character art that just kind of like uh, adapts what it knows that it's been trained on, you know, and then just kind of like adds things. Like it's pretty impressive, honestly. Like, wh how does it do this? How does it do this? That's pretty cool. Like, this is, uh... I don't know, we're still learning. It's pretty cool. Like, uh, I, I, it's pretty impressive. I mean, it's like, it's, it's clearly not right, but... Yeah, it's impressive. That it's able to just, like, blend things together at all and, like, make any changes, you know? It's like, wow. Uh, it's pretty coherent for something completely computer generated, you know? The like humans had to give it something to learn off of. Like, this is like a base image, I assume. You know, it's like just like a blonde woman, pigtails. So I've told it a whole bunch of nonsense. Ghost in the Shell, cyborg anime woman dancing, there's blonde hair with pigtails, wearing goggles for eyes. Oh my god, it actually, like, kind of works. That's fucking crazy, bro. Like... That's honestly ridiculous. And you, you can see pretty clearly where the uh, Ghost in the Shell aspect is, like, copying it from, obviously. It's like... <laughs> this one's pretty cute. This is the right color scheme. It's like Shinji or something. What the fuck? <laughs> I just clicked like random fucking words. Like, <laughs> just fucking. What the jokes? Um. So. They're not my friend, but one of my acquaintances from the internet from a while back got uh, literally run out of town. Like the first scene of, uh. You know, the movie First Blood, like Rambo. And, um. Yeah, I was pretty pissed about that. You know, they, 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 the, the chief of police himself came out and, and unapologetically... Hold on, let me plug this back in so we can... You, you hear me through this, but everyone else will hear me through this. The video is going to be through this, so... So, Travis Hines got pulled over in a small Wisconsin town. I'm over here looking for the microphone. That's hilarious. I'm not used to the mic stand yet. Like, where's the mic? Where's the mic? Gotta pick up the mic. Where's the mic? <laughs> so Travis Hines got pulled over, and uh, it it was interesting. I, I say pulled over so that people understand kind of what I'm talking about, but actually that isn't really what happened. What happened was is that the police rolled up on him. He was parked. He was not driving. They demanded ID, which he did not comply with, and they literally told him that he has to leave town for loitering, or he'd be arrested. And it's like, you can't just do that. That's unlawful. And the police chief himself did it. So people are rightfully pissed. Like, 70,000... Like, it's already gone viral. Like, the police thought he was just some homeless guy, because he is just some homeless guy. But he's also a homeless veteran. And um, if he's not a homeless veteran, you can't prove he's not a homeless veteran, right? But I think in this case, he actually is a homeless veteran. And... Uh, there may be some mental health stuff at play, but it doesn't really matter. The point is, is that this guy knows his rights, and he isn't there to stir trouble. He he has a YouTube channel dedicated, and he shouldn't have to have this. He shouldn't be able to have this. Lawfully, he should. But he, it, the police should not be able to abuse their authority as tyrants in such a manner that produces enough YouTube content that he has a channel for it. You know what I mean? Because he's not an auditor. He's not baiting anybody. He's just trying to fucking live. He just parks in public spaces and they run him out of town. They harass him at night. They break into his car. It's really fucked up. And people watch this happen. And they, you know, they want good things for him. They want, you know, to protect... Some of them would just want to destroy the police and that's fine. You know? But, uh... In this case, the chief of police... I mean, this was... 
this was pretty bad. He literally ran this person out of town by saying, like, in no uncertain terms, like, this was verbatim, he's like, I don't care, you need to leave all the way out of our town, you need to leave the town. And I was like, you cannot trust people, trespass people from an entire town. You, it is completely unlawful. So, so yeah. So, I'm thinking about uh, the Freedom of Information Law, right? Freedom of Information Act, right? Now, in Wisconsin, where this happened, the Freedom of Information Act, FOIA, the Wisconsin Open Records Law, 19.31, uh, is the law, I think that's like the little, like, law symbol, the little S, not the dollar, but the little, like, S with the circle in it. So, you don't have to fill it out exactly this way, but I'm gonna fill, I'm gonna just read their sample so that you know what, it, what it is that I'm talking about. Uh, let me put this up on the screen so that y'all can see this. So, under the Wisconsin Open Records Law 19.31, I am requesting an opportunity to inspect or obtain copies of public records that, uh, in this case, it's because it says in brackets, describe the records or information sought with enough detail for the public agency to respond. So in this case, the publicly listed, right, work email of the publicly appointed official, right, of the publicly tax-funded institution of the police department, and very specifically, I want the sheriff's emails. I want all of them. I want them for the last six months, we'll say. But actually, I'm going to request them back a full year. And actually, what I really could do is request them forever, right? And wouldn't that look so fucking bad if they got deleted, right? Now, there are restrictions that they can restrict. For example, if there's, like, an ongoing investigation being discussed in that public email. First of all, there fucking shouldn't be, right? That's there should not be. But assuming that they are, right? Fine. You can redact that. I don't think you should be allowed, allowed to, but I also understand that, like, say a rape victim, right? Worst case scenario, some child rape victim is like, oh no, I sent all the public emails to your emails. Oh no, right? So, okay, we'll redact that, we'll redact that. But the rest of it should not be redacted. So, like, what is it they're emailing about? Most likely nothing, and they never use that account for anything but official business. But it's also interesting to request the metadata. Who is emailing them, right? They'll probably tell me no, that's proprietary, and I'll probably tell them to screw off, and they'll tell me to screw off in return, and I'll have to sue them, and they'll get away with it. There's also that they have to respond, it says, that within five days, with it, uh, that they are planning to deny it, and then it'll take them a little while to like, look through it and decide why they're denying it. And it doesn't really prescribe by law how long that, that can take, so it can take a while. But I can just keep filing, right? Like, it's a small town. How much more do you really have going on? You, you, you're going you're gonna to go to church instead? No. You're a tax-funded organization. You're going to give me my fucking information by email, right? And I'm going to have them uh, make print copies of it and, and, and mail it to a dummy address, right? Because you can fill these out anonymously. You don't have to put your name. You can just put, like, a dot citizen. Last name citizen, first name A dot. Perfectly lawful. Because you do not have to submit to the Fourth Amendment. You do not, or, or you do not have to submit to their inquiry of information under the Fourth Amendment. You do not have to bear witness against oneself at the trial. They cannot lawfully search you and seize your information, nor do you have to bear witness under the Fifth Amendment against yourself. Right? You don't have to give up your information, you don't, you don't, even if they're questioning you. Well, in order to get the foil, how are we going to know who you are? It doesn't matter. It's public information. If I, as a public citizen, want to pay... Right? This wacky bird making this wacky sound. I'm going to record for it just a little bit, see if it'll do it again.
it's a, it's like maybe like a songbird or something. And that wasn't the whole thing. It was doing like a whole thing. Same bird, but we'll see if it does it again. Do it again, <laughs> goofy bird. Just as I started recording, you stop. No idea what type of bird that is. What do the flies want, you said? Yeah, what do they want? They want the nectar. Yeah. They want the sugar and the pollen and all that. Well, what if our guess has been a beaver, a, a squirrel, a moose, a dog? A dog? Oh, we don't know one knows what this thing is. That looks the most like a squirrel. Yeah. Terrible <laughs> player. All right, honey, go ahead. Bye. <laughs> She's so fat, you can see her collar. I know. <laughs> she does have kind of short legs. She does. She's yeah. a munchkin. Yeah, I wonder. She's gotta be, because she's too short. So my sister and I have wanted to get her DNA it's tested. It's a munchkin cat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, it's doing its best. I'd be pretty pissed if I was the artist who, like, originally created this, you know? And then, like, this fucking monstrosity gets created by some AI. Holy shit. So not only has it been done, it's been done well, and it's been done by the people. Like, as I had, you know, I mean, this is where my brain went with it. I was like, this is what I could do with it. And, um, yeah, I mean, I would have no idea how to make anything like this. But, I mean, this is, I, I knew this would be possible, so I started looking into it. I have no idea how I would begin to do this.